So I've been doing a lot of SEO work for people lately. And one of the questions that I ask them before we really dive into the actual work is, what keywords do you want to rank for? Like, what are you aiming for? What's your niche, your industry, um, and specifics within that industry? Because not every dietitian wants to rank for the same exact keywords. And there is one big thing that people are missing when it comes to their keyword research or even thinking about what keywords they want to rank for. If you're new here, my name's Jess, and this channel is all about helping you create a more smooth and profitable online business with the help of your website. And when it comes to SEO and keyword research, we can actually help boost our sales and our conversions if we are actually putting in the right energy towards our keyword research and not trying to aim for the wrong keywords that we're not gonna rank for or that are gonna bring the wrong people to our website because that's really not what we want. We all want lots of traffic on our website, but if you have 10,000 of the wrong people, then you have 10,000 of the wrong people on your website. So what is this thing that people are missing? search intent. We are forgetting to take into consideration the intent of the users. Why are they searching this term? Why are people searching cardboard boxes, <laughs> for example? Are they looking to buy cardboard boxes or are they looking to research cardboard boxes for some reason? <laughs> we need to take that into consideration. So for example, I have a client who ranks for Bible verses. And if you think about it, most of the time when people are searching for Bible verses, they're probably looking to reference it. They want to look up the exact wording or something. They're probably not looking to buy something. Otherwise it would say like Bible verse art or leather bound Bible or something like that. So you have to take into consideration, yes, this term might be high search, low competition, but is it bringing the right people to your website? And that's not to say that every keyword that you are using needs to be transactional, like buy dog food. <laughs> that's not what I'm saying, but you have to take into consideration what the people are actually searching for because some posts might just be informational, but people might actually still be looking for a specific something without it being transactional in a money type of way. So what I mean is you could create a blog post about the 10 best podcasts in your particular niche or industry. That might be an easy way to drive more traffic to your own podcast because you would list yourself. That is not a transaction because we don't have to buy a podcast, but it's a conversion because we are turning those people hopefully into a podcast listener. Hopefully they subscribe to your podcast and then down the road, maybe they join your email list, they buy something from you or they hire you. So it might not be a money transaction up front, but it's still a conversion. And so we need to think about those types of other conversions when we're thinking about our keywords. Now, the good news is that there's a fairly easy way to figure out the intent of a particular keyword. Google it yourself. <laughs> Look at the search results page. What is on the page? Is it a lot of product listings? Either the products at the top, you know how you can like shop on Google, and then a bunch of Amazon links and other stores. Is it a bunch of other articles? Is it from high authority websites? I know working with a lot of dietitians that often when we are doing keyword research and we look up the keyword, if it's some kind of condition that they're working with, a lot of the first page is articles from WebMD, Healthline, etc. So it's going to be hard to compete with those very high authority websites. So we don't wanna maybe just target that main keyword of type one diabetes. <laughs> we want to get really, really specific where the search results page looks more like blogs and articles and not necessarily competing with these super high authority websites. The search results page is actually really good to look at just in general for research because you can really understand not just the intent of the user, but what other things related to this topic are people looking for? Are there a lot of videos? 
are there images? Are they looking for some kind of graph, chart, something? Or are they really just looking to buy? What things within this topic are the other articles talking about that you also need to talk about in your blog post? As I mentioned, I do offer a lot of SEO services, so you can check those out down in the description below. If you have questions, let me know down in the comments. I know keyword research can be a little overwhelming. If you enjoyed this video, be sure and give it a thumbs up, and I will see y'all next time.